you were saying that you worked on some boats up here. Uh, th yeah, that was uh, here behind us. Uh, that was after the war years, the Manx Beauty, uh, the Manx Lass and the Manx Fairy. They had been away, and the Manx lad had been away in war service, and the Manx lad got hit a mine off Hollyhead and sunk, and there was only the three came back, uh, the Beauty Fairy and the Lass, and they were up here. They lay for quite a while up here, and they were all painted grey, and they had a, a platform up forward for their machine gun, and uh, I was only a young lad at the time, just started work. And I remember them, they were down working on them, doing them all back up for the fishing. And we were taking that, the, the, the gun platforms off them. Yeah. They were built up in Scotland, them three, before the war. The, uh, yeah. And then the, uh, the other ones, with the war coming on, they had to go to Ireland, the Tiddles in Arklow. I think it was, Arklow or Hoth House. And they were built, the first one was the Lily. She was PL34. And uh, she was a unlucky bolt. She ended up uh, on the rocks, up at uh, the Isle of Arran. And, uh, and there was a couple of men lost on her. There was a fella called Quilliam. He was a skipper. And uh, I forget the name of the other chap. He got lost on her too. She was very unlucky bolt. And then the Manx Fuchsia come after that. And... Uh, Stanley Gotti took her, PL46. And then the uh, Clover come after that, PL47. As far as I know, Neddy Kane took that. But then, uh, and then the, uh, the Manx Rose come after that. She was 48 and she come after that. And uh, they say Lockie Horsborough took her, but I thought it was Johnny Dees, but it could be. And then the, the uh, the last one was the Manx Bell. She was 6PL62. There's a fella called Jimmy Quilliam took her. I used to go out a lot with that one, the Manx Bell with Jimmy. He lived up Market Street. Real old Manx fisherman he was. Oh, he's top man. Well, they all were. They were all real old Manx fishermen, you know. You could go down on them boats there and, and they would just treat you like one of them, you know. Sit down at the table, what are you wanting, you fella? and you'd get a big bulk of cheese or whatever you wanted. And they'd say, you go out the heavens with them at night, all night, out fishing. Uh, so it's just one big, it's just one big family here, one big happy family, yeah. Uh.